In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the apron on the Open Lathe project. The first thing we need to do is make a hole for the set screw in the pinion gear. A round metal with a small radius is not the easiest thing to put a, uh, a hole in uh, to get a, a drill started, uh, so I'm going to punch this hole. Uh, also not an easy task, uh, as you can see, uh, but I managed. After you've punched your center hole, you're going to want to drill the hole for the quarter inch tap. If you have a, a, a tap kit, uh, if you buy a little tap kit, usually it's uh, the tap comes with the drill. If you already have the tap, um, you'll need a 13 64 inch drill bit. Uh, it's also number seven drill bit. And just pop a hole in this thing. And lastly, you'll need to tap the hole you put in the pinion gear. I have it set up in a little tap station here, but uh, you might be better off with um, just a tap handle and a vise. I've got a little piece of metal under here to float the gear uh, so it's level. Um, but as I go to, uh, to try to tap this, I just can't hold on to it. So if you've got something set up like this, uh, you might need to get a pair of vice grips or something to, to hang on to it. After you're set up, go ahead and tap your hole, uh, backing the tap off about a quarter turn every half turn or so. Once you're done, clean up the gear with a little towel, get the shavings out of there and, and some of the grease off. Take your quarter inch set screw that you got from the hardware store, uh, I think it's probably like a quarter by three eighths inch, and uh, thread it into your hole. Make sure it threads nice and easy, you should be able to thread this by hand. Hopefully you're watching these videos all the way through before you start the construction of your lathe. If not, you're going to need to replace this bearing bolt right here uh, before we do the apron install. This bolt comes in the CNC router parts uh, little bolt pack here and um, that's what we're going to use to uh, install the spring load on the apron. We're going to spring load the apron to provide positive pressure for the, uh, the pinion gear uh, against the rack. So we're going to install this long bracket with the nut that comes with the uh, CNC router parts pack. Just get it finger tight for right now. This is the aluminum apron plate that I fabricated on my CNC router. Just fits right up here. I'll be selling these. Um, it's kind of the only part that I decided that, that uh, would be difficult to make yourself, but I'll be providing plans. Uh, for those of you that want to make your own. So I've press fit a uh, little bearing in here. I'm just kind of wiping off the grease, cleaning it up a little bit. So we'll install the apron with uh, this shoulder bolt that I spec'd out in the bill of materials. Just a little, uh, I think it's a 3 8 inch or 5 16 washer put against there and uh, just screw it in finger tight. Just leave it loose so it swings freely. Next we're going to install this D-shaped shaft. Uh, the shaft has a, a little flat on the side of it. Uh, makes it really nice for um, attaching things with set screws. And we have our pinion gear uh, that we previously drilled and tapped. Uh, this D-shaped shaft comes uh, 6 inches from McMaster car. Uh, this one's cut down to four. So slide the shaft through the bearing and into the pinion gear. It'll take a little bit of adjustment, but uh, it's pretty easy. And once you've got it where you want it, just tighten that set screw on there. And you can already see here that the motion is, is nice and smooth. Uh, not that smooth because it's not constrained, but uh, we'll take care of that in just a second. And the hand wheel installs very similar to the pinion gear. You just slip it on, uh, align the set screw with the flat of the shaft, and tighten it down. Um, once you're satisfied with these, you might want to put a little thread lock on both of those. Um, but yeah, it's okay at the moment. 
and you can see it's not constrained but we've got good movement with the hand wheel. And we'll take the bottom bracket uh, that's in the CNC router parts kit and install it into the center of the apron with a uh, little short 5 16 inch bolt. It's, uh, it comes with a tapped hole so you can just screw it in there. Again, just leave it loose. Um, this one's actually not terribly important that it be super tight. It's nice if it can kind of float a little bit. And the last part of this assembly is the, the long bolt that came with the kit. Uh, put a washer on it and uh, install the spring that you get from McMaster Car. Um, so you're going to have to pull the spring up just a little bit to get this thing to to uh, to seat in the in the bottom bracket. Um, can take a little bit of work, but uh, we got it to go pretty good on this first try here. I don't seat this thing down too far. Uh, you'll end up pulling the uh, the pinion gear away from the rack. It just needs to be engaged with that nut on the bottom. Now that this thing's fully constrained, just rolls super smooth, real nice, uh, real simple installation. Thanks for watching.